Hello, I wanted to record a quick video uh, on Nexus Dashboard 4.1 in this case. And in this video, I wanted to show you the fastest and easiest way for those cases where you need to do a fresh install from ISO. Okay, let's quickly go over what you're going to need before you get started. So, of course, you're going to download the ISO file from Cisco.com of the version of Nexus Dashboard that you want. You're going to need the IP address and have access to the server SIMSIs. Uh, where you're going to install the Nexus Dashboard software. So in my case, that's a cluster of three physical UCS servers that form that cluster. Uh, you're going to need a basic web server to host your ISO. And the reason for that is the last point. So we're going to use, we're going to assign a temporary IP per node, and we're going to install the ISO over the network. Doing it this way is so much faster. If you had to do it over a serial connection, it would take you a day. If you do it over the network, it takes you like 10 minutes. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. OK, let's get started. What, what I've done is I've opened up a web browser and I've gone to the IP address of the SIMC of the Nexus dashboard node that I want to work with. And I've already logged in. Now, there's a couple of the things that we need to have set up here. And let me show you what they are. So I'm going to click into the menu and go into compute. And I'm going to click on the remote management tab. Now there's two things that we need to do here. The first is we need to map the virtual media that we're going to use to install the Nexus dashboard software. So as you can see here, I've already done this. So I have a web server at this address and the ISO is sitting. And by doing this mapping, you can always add a new mapping and you can see that you can do HTTP, HTTPS, NFS, or SIFS, so whatever works best for you. In my case, web was the easiest. So I've got this ISO sitting on this web server, and I have this mapping. The reason why we do this mapping is because we're going to first boot from this ISO and then complete the install. The second thing that you need to do is you need to go into the Serial Over LAN tab, and we need to make sure that this checkbox is enabled. By default, I believe it is not enabled, so you need to come here and enable this. The reason for that is we're going to SSH using Serial Over LAN to do part of the process, and I'll explain that when we get there. So you're going to launch the KVM right here, and I've already done that. So I'm going to power up my server, and I'm going to pause the video, and when uh, the, the server is ready to show, I'll, I'll, I'll join back in. Okay, so we kept the KVM window open, and as the server was booting up, what we're going to do is we're going to break into the boot order so we can assure that we can boot from our ISO. So that is function F6, and you can see down below we're entering into the boot menu. Okay, as you can see here, it's giving us option for how we want to boot. Um, and I'm going to go and select the Cisco SIMC mapped uh, DVD because that's what I had mapped when I showed you the SIMC UI and the web server uh, mounting right there. So we'll go ahead and hit return. Now, this is going to take a few minutes. So I, once again, I'll, I'll pause the video and come back. But it's going to effectively bootstrap the node from the ISO. It'll probably take about five to eight minutes. Uh, and then it's going to show us a prompt. So while we're waiting for this to boot, let me show you the next thing that we need to do. OK, so what I did was I SSH'd into the SIMC IP with my admin account. And that's where I am right now. So you can see I've already done that. And I'm going to type connect host. This is going to use the serial overland feature that I mentioned earlier. And there is a reason why we have to do this, because uh, in order to complete the process and install all of those gigabytes of software over the network, we need to do it from serial over LAN. We cannot do it from the KVM. And I'll show you what that looks like. So for now, I'll pause the video. And in about five minutes, I'll come back and we'll show you what, uh, show you what I see. Actually, it only took about three minutes or so to boot to this point, but I, I want to show you something important. This is from the KVM now. At the bottom, it says, please log into serial over LAN to continue with the installation. That's important. So back to our serial over LAN, the connection that I had up, you'll see that we have some other options that are not displayed in the KVM window. And this is the important part for us to be able to install over the network. OK, so I've copied the URL from the web server where I'm hosting the ISO. And I'll go ahead and paste it in there. So we'll hit Return. Now it's asking us a question about configuring the network interface. We can do static DHCP. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do static. So this is where I mentioned you needed a temporary IP. So I've actually borrowed the 
the node IP that I use for this node, like that Nexus dashboard uses when it boots up, uh, it's okay because you know once it installs the software, this is only a temporary condition. So I'm going to type static. And then it's going to ask you which interface do you want to use. In my case, this is management zero. This is uh, basically I have a management cable plugged into the back of my uh, node for management purposes, and that's the one I'm going to use. So now we're going to need to put a gateway, uh, and that is my temporary IP and mask. Uh, and next it's asking for the gateway. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, that's my gateway uh, reachability to my server. It's going to do a quick test to say, can I actually reach that web server in order to do the install? And after about 30 seconds or so, we're going to see the uh, the ISO start downloading and it's going to be quite fast. And this is the why I say this is the fastest and easiest way to install uh, from ISO. And there we go. You can see it's already started. It's looking like uh, time left is it's about two minutes. So what it's going to do first is, is going to download all of the installation files that it needs. And then it's going to actually go through and install, completely install all the Nexus dashboard software. Now that process probably takes about five, six minutes or so. And once it's completed, it will actually power down the node. And then you can go and power it back up and do the other two nodes, and then you can form your cluster. So I'm going to also pause the video and come back and show you what it looks like after the install has been completed. Okay, this is the view after the install has happened and the power down is completed. I just wanted to show it to you. Actually, it took, uh, yeah, it only took about three minutes or so, probably less than that to get to this point. So it was very, very fast. So at this point, this node is done. We can go back and to the SimC and power it back on and then use it to build our cluster. Remember, you're going to have to need you're going to need to do this on your two other nodes as well and get the, the software installed. And then from that point, you can build up your cluster uh, according to the you know uh, published inst installation instructions. So that's it. I hope you got something useful out of it. And thanks for watching.